Alright, hello everybody. So today I'm going to do a little tutorial on Serato DJ on how to modify the beat grids, uh, the BPM and all that jazz. So uh, here we're on the, kind of the offline mode, so I have no controller plugged in, so we just got the one single deck. So here I'm going to put in Lose Yourself by Eminem. Now, the BPM is right. Uh, you can check, you can always check online if you have a track that's somewhat popular like this one. I'm going to cite BPM database right here. Um, and I just kind of wrote in lose yourself and here it is. So it is 86 BPM, but the beat grids are totally off. Sorry about that, I just got texted. All right, so we're just gonna play the song. And as you see, you know, it's not really seeming right, but this is just kind of the intro part, not the most important, we'll wait till it drops. And we'll use this uh, cue as our downbeat for the first one. So one and two and three and four and one. And, and as you can see, the beat grid is totally off. So we're going to go and change it. Uh, I'm going to use uh, the hot cues to get there. So on a Mac, or I'm pretty sure on a PC too, it's Alt Spacebar. And now we're in the edit mode. Uh, you can always uh, just press edit grid here. It does the same thing. Now on my cue right here, I'm gonna press X, and that just means the start of a of a of a new um, of a new bar. So it's your your tier down beat. So it's your one. So we're just gonna check one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So as you see, I dropped another down beat right here on the next one of the thirteenth uh, bar. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. And as you see, after a while, um, the software will be able to pick up kind of roughly how good your, uh, how accurate your, your placements are and they'll be able to reproduce it over the whole song. So I suggest that you guys take your time. I'm, I'm doing this really fast. But take your time and make sure you really do get that downbeat on the spot because I'll uh, they'll make it just your BPM more accurate and everything. So two and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Now, as you can see, the BPM here is changed a bit. It was 86 at first, and that was right, and now it's at 87. Now, this is just because if you go manually the whole song and just press X everywhere, it'll take a while. Like, see, look, 86, and it turns to 87. Now, we're going to change this. So, you can manually just change the number being displayed right over here by using your arrow keys. So, now I'm just going to, with my uh, right arrow key, I'm just going to bring the 26 bar right where it would approximately be. Right about there. So as you can see, we get a pretty accurate reading. And there you have it. So you can just manually press X on all your downbeats, on all your ones, and that will, that should give a pretty accurate reading and your, uh, your beat grid should be, you know, they should be pretty usable. But you can also fine tweak it uh, with the, your uh, arrow keys. And uh, I, I suggest you do that because it's important to have a proper beat grids. If you use sync, uh, I know it's pretty debated, but even at just beat matching, it's easier having a, a proper visual reference. So when you're done, you can just press enter. And let's just look at it. And as you can see, perfect. So that's my little quick tutorial for you guys today. Uh, you guys go check out my, uh, my pages and such. 
Uh, subscribe if you wish. Uh, I should have some uh, cool content coming up. Thank you.